Last video, we checked out the Black Box games. We just looked at 28 of the 30 titles that kickstarted the Nintendo Entertainment System. Today we're going to take a look at an obscure Nintendo accessory that not many of people have owned. And that's this little guy right here, Rob the Robot. Even though he wasn't as popular as the NES itself, but bringing him here in America is kind of essential. Before the NES was released here in America, the video game industry was suffering a crash that occurred in 1983. This is the point people stop playing video games. Along with anything that looks like a gaming console, they get rejected and shunned by retailers. At that point, the Nintendo Famicom has been out for two years. They created something called the Family Computer Robot, better known as the FCR for short. So Nintendo decided to ship the robot with the NES in the US and market the console as a robot gaming system rather than a video game system. Surprisingly, that plan actually worked. Instead of calling it the FCR and give it a red and white color scheme, they went with calling it the Robotic Operating Buddy, or Rob for short, and also give it a grayish tone to match the colors of the NES itself. Well, I guess it kind of works. The main function for Rob is to be a second player to games that he is programmed with. But on the downside is that there are 800 games made for the NES. This also counts unlicensed games, unreleased games, bootleg games, and of course, reproduction games. But with all the games that I have in my collection, only two specific games work with Rob. So basically, Nintendo brought Rob in to break it big, and chucked his ass in the trash can when his purpose was fulfilled. I mean, I wouldn't do the same thing anyway, but come on! Only two games? That is one way to fuck over with the consumers. So if you own the deluxe set back in 1985, you might remember it comes with the console itself, two controllers, two games to kickstart off your NES library, the Zapper, which is gray at that time, and a lot of this shit. It comes with two gyro tops, gyro holder, spinner, and a control pad for Rob to play games with you. Now to operate Rob, you're gonna need four AA batteries to work with. Along with that, you need a single D battery for the spinner. Damn! So for this video, it's gonna be the conclusion of the Black Box games with the Rob series. So let's start off with Gyromite, which is packaged along with the deluxe set. So the way that this game works is that when the screen flashes green, it activates the sensors in Rob's eyes. Yeesh. Now before we get started with this game, I think it's best bet to start off with testing the robot by pressing a button. All that just to press a button? How is it supposed to be fun? I get more enjoyment by watching paint dry! So it's obvious you understand that Rob is loud and noisy, which is very distracting. So let's just begin the game and see if he could do better. So in this game, you control Professor Hector, deactivating all the dynamite before they blow up in his lab. The only two obstacles that you have to avoid are Smicks and these red and blue pillars, which is controlled by Rob himself. The only painful thing you have to go through in this game is how long can Rob take to bring down one of the pillars. So you press start and he will follow your command. Up, down, left, right, open and close. That's it. Now the only thing that really pisses me off is how slow it takes for me to complete a stage. In fact, I managed to beat the level faster without Rob. I mean, just imagine if in Super Mario Brothers that the jump button is on the second controller. Yeah, that'll get annoying, right? Sometimes while playing this game, some stupid shit just makes me want to rage out. Did you just squish the professor? 
Professor? No, 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 it's no cliche. I don't want that to happen. Whew. You better shape up or you're dust! Overall, this game is the style of a classic arcade game with some different mechanics. It could be a fun game if you don't have a slow second player. The other game that works with Rob is Stack Up. Now, the Stack Up pieces are very rare to find, so I did manage to get them for this review. So I'm just going to make this a little bit short. All you have to do is just line up the blocks and try to match it from point A to point B. You can either by stepping on tiles, do it by a memory, or by playing bingo. It feels like this game is just a waste of time, and since I don't have the stack of pieces with me, this game is just what it is. BULLSHIT! Well, that's pretty much it. Besides these two games, physically, Rob is pretty much useless. Uh, okay, however, in the virtual world, he's getting a lot better in the retro eye. Let me explain. In Mario Kart DS, Rob is one of the characters to unlock in this game. He is the fastest and the best controlled character. I love playing with him. Along with the Super Smash Bros. series, Rob is one of the fighters. I like the way they use his parts and game references to make him a fitable fighter. Hell, he is so popular he has his own amiibo figure. That's great. So yeah, up to this point, Rob is just much of a dust collector. Sorry, dude. I must be dreaming. I'm gonna wake up. There is no way I saw Rob's eyes glow. <laughs> this is impossible. It's just a plastic toy. How can he be alive? <laughs> this is an old cliche. <laughs> I am not falling for it. This is the oldest cliche in the book. Oh my god. <sighs> I must be in Wonderland or something. Nope, this isn't a dream, and I have to counterbalance with this. Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Seriously, this is the oldest game of your cliche in the entire book. Rob turning evil. This is stupid. I am not doing this. This is just ridiculous. I will be like. Every single game reviewer that is on the internet, they will just come out and attack you that, Oh, you rip off every GN, oh, you rip off every gamer, oh, you rip off everyone that is doing the bro cliche. Bull fucking shit! This is ridiculous! Screw this! God, I'm not doing now it! Now I have a good reason to kill you. Did the robot just talk? Feel my wrath nerd. You are really bantering this up, aren't you? I was trying to review Rob the Robot for the celebration of the 30th anniversary of the Nintendo Entertainment System and Super Mario Bros. And then all of a sudden it followed the old classic video game reviewing cliche of it coming back to life and starting to kill me and that's why you're here. To help me out. Alright, where is that fucking machine anyway?
breath on earth, by the order of Ra, you shall be terminated. Uh, who the fuck are you? I am more than you with a rod right there. You may call me Robert. Okay, that is the stupidest villain name I have ever heard in my entire fucking- ah! Nerd! Hold still so I can kill you. You're big. Oh, okay. oh. No, for bad guys. You're a double shot. Ouch. Sorry. What the fuck? Are you supposed to be the Terminator or something? Maybe. You sure sound like him. I don't understand. Gordon and Rob both just do that. Get back to him. You remember that. Hey, roll with you. Why don't you make like a tree and get the fuck out of here? It's just as deserved. It's lean! Make like a tree and leave! You sound like a damn fool when you say it wrong! Really? I sound like a damn fool when I'm calling Boondock Saints? Oh, you're such an idiot. So what happened to that other guy? Oh, Danny, I don't know. He just chickened out after that internet troll just ran out. I don't know what's up with Who? that. Who? Douche Nozzle? Oh, fuck up, Douche Nozzle. Uh, I remember my encounter with him. Oh, yeah, of course. You did help me with that. Thank you, by the way. Uh, well, before that, I had a different encounter with him. Well, what happened? Long story short, he didn't end up looking so pretty after I got done with him. Okay, so I don't know why he's attacking me this time, but I am, I'm getting confused right now. But you know what? You know how these inner trolls are? The bandwagon haters, bro. Bandwagon haters. They just like to suck and give you a nerd's dick. Yeah, well, anyway, why don't you just head on home? Uh, I'll clean up everything else. I'll be back, though. I'll be back. Thomas. Rob? So, you're okay with the upgrade of you communicating with me now, right? With that incident over, I will get used to this upgrade. That's what I thought. Yeah. You know what? Let me just fix you up. Uh, you're gonna have a great relaxing time with me. So, let's just go back upstairs, shall we? Sounds good to me. That rotten nerd and his friends are destroying my mischievous plan!